Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the second swing golf, joined today by Mr. Kevin Kraft here in the Minnetonka Tour Van for a fairway wood comparison. It's the best of series for 2024. Part one here, early in the year. Mm -hmm. We've got low spin fairway woods. We got four of them. So um, actually, we should clarify, Mizuno STG was a late 2023 release. It was. But these other three are early in 2024 um, launches. So yep. Kevin, let's break down each of these models here. What do we like and maybe we don't dislike anything about these models. I don't dislike anything about any of these models. <laughs> Honestly, they are, I've always tended to like a low spin fairway wood. Yeah. And these all fit that bill very, very nicely. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think uh, the, so most of these I believe have like adjustable weight capabilities on the sole, um, whether it's exchanging weights or maybe, um, you know, moving a sliding weight with yep. the QI Tour. So um, definitely going for the tinkerer type of golfer here mm -hmm. with all of these, because you have the hosel as well that can be adjusted too. So yep. um, plus you pack in some ball speed and some, you know, hot club faces and you get four really good fairy woods here, Kevin. Hot faces. Hot faces. Yes. Um, so in today, talk about the shaft that you picked for these as well. And then we'll dive into what we're going to be looking at for our testing portion. So three of the four, we've got Kylie White, mm -hmm. uh, low launch, low spin, great feeling shaft. Yeah. I have it in my BR and our mini driver and it's really nice. Yeah. So uh, it was available for these three, so I sure. made that happen. Yeah. Uh, Mizuno, we just have to go with uh, the with stock the hazardous green. Hazardous green, yep. Sure. Um, Which is fine. The only other difference here, I believe everybody's 15 degrees except my Cobra here, which I couldn't find the standard head. So it's a 13 degree head that I've got cranked up to 14.5. Mm, okay. So it's as close as I could so make it. So the playing loft will be 14.5 or 15.5? Yeah, 14.5 five. Yeah, okay. five or 15. Yeah. For all of them. Okay. Yeah. So, um, and we've got the sort of low spin miles for mm -hmm. each series here. Um, you ready to hit some golf shots? Definitely. Let's do it. Okay. So, Mr. Kevin Kraft, starting with the STG yeah. from Mizuno. Mm -hmm. um, first thoughts on that one? It's beautiful. Yeah? Absolutely. When this thing came out, and this is the one, the one that's been out the longest, I was blown away by the shaping and everything of this thing. It is really, really awesome. Mm. Uh, I'm a big fan. Maybe a few fingerprints, but other than that, it's uh, <laughs> it's really good. Got to make that remark yeah. on every glossy crown. I mean, consistency, right? <laughs> so, I just changed the I just changed the lie angle on this okay. thing because in the warm up, I have been just peppering that right side. Yeah. So for whatever reason, I'm not having a very good hand release day. And uh, so we're gonna try and use a tiny bit of technology on all of these yeah. fairway woods. Moving them all a little bit upright? Absolutely. Give me some help here. I've, you know, it's <laughs> we got the tech, we might as well use it. Yeah. So yeah, I just, I just think the shape of this is so good. Um, big fan, Okay. big, big fan. I like it, all right. Mizuno's made great, great strides over the last bunch of years. And they have, they have. I they think they still don't get as much recognition as they deserve for what yeah, they Yeah, especially in the about. woods. I mean, really, it's... Yeah. it's Well, iron-wise, I mean, they've been... They've always been yeah. elite in the irons, yes. Yep. All right, let's see if I can square a fairway wood up here. Mm. Nope. That's a good shot, though. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. I mean, it's not off in the weeds. It's in play, is what it, it is. It is in play. What more can you ask for? A lot. I want to be Hideki Matsuyama. That's what I want to be. I want to be like the best fairway wood player on the planet. That dude with a fairway wood in his hands, unbelievable. Was it the Sony Open he won yes. a couple years ago yes. with, with a, an iconic fairway wood 275 three wood to a three so feet? So good. Yeah. Unbelievable. That, I love watching that guy. It's weird though, because he's, he's up here, right? And he's singing about what he's going to get on his pizza that night. And then finally, he's got it figured out. It's going to be like pepperoni, mushrooms, and pineapple. And then he goes, right? So, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a long pause, man. It is. You know, so. I was kind of wondering if you were going to do the Hideki Matsuyama yourself. I can't there. do that. Yeah. It, 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 we would not be getting good results. <laughs> 
I don't know how how uh, Cam Young does it either. Yeah, he does it too. Yeah, because he's. I mean, he's. Everything's in the right place. Okay, cool. And then goes. It's just. It just seems like forever. Hmm. A little maybe off the toe. Yeah. One. One. My best strike. I'll say that. That one felt pretty good. I think it's gonna go right though. Yeah. Tis. I'm trying, man. I am really trying to get this thing squared up. Hey, yeah, that a couple shots ago, you hit one right in the middle. Yeah, yeah. One out of five is not very good though. Ooh, that could be good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. One more. Sure. Okay. Oh, okay. There's our dispersion. Let's see here, we got. Uh, we'll take. Yeah, just, one, leave, four, him two just leave him in there. Leave him in there. Leave him in there. Sure. Um, so twenty-six thirty-one spin, two forty-two carry, two sixty-seven total. Um, how do you think? You know, what were your thoughts on feedback feel? Um, Feels awesome. Yeah. Has that nice little titanium sound when you yep. catch it in the right spot, right? Goes good, does exactly what a low spinning fairway wood should do. You know, we're 2630. Yeah. Very nice there. A uh, little bit low. Yeah. Um, I think my golf game is morphing a little bit that uh, that I haven't maybe addressed quite yet. Good thing is, you know, I've got a couple months before I actually have to do anything, right. but I seem to be hitting it low. So it's not, I don't think it's the golf club. Mm. It's 15 degrees typically gets, gets yeah. up pretty good. So there's gotta be something going on here. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, um, I will say there's a couple of swings there that you did get. This one went over 3,000 spin. This one over also 3,000 spin, mm -hmm. but it was still flying right around 90 feet on peak height, so. Okay. Um, Overall with fairway woods, especially being struck off mats, I see a lot of, of shots caught you know, below center. Yeah. I bet if you bring up the heat map there, it's probably it. going to be a little bit low. Just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Yep. Okay. So, well, uh, next club here, we got Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke Triple cool. Diamond. So if you remember last year, I started out the year with the Paradigm Triple Diamond. Yeah. Yeah. I do remember that. Yeah. Um, and it was good, but then BRNR came out and it became like the perfect driver replacement thing. Yep. So, yeah. Yeah. But well, that, so that was at the time a driver replacement club. For it you. was, it yeah. was, it was just a lot smaller and yeah. now this, I got a much bigger, friendlier right. looking thing. So, well, now let's see that you, we got the, uh, triple diamond yep. AI smoke. Yep. Um, very curious on this one. See if uh, you know we get any more height or spin out of this okay. one compared to the Zeno. I'm expecting good numbers. Callaway's consistently put out yeah. really good fairway mm -hmm. ones. Ooh, I'm calling that a win. <laughs> I'm calling that a win. I mean, it's not really a shot that I wanted to hit, but at least it didn't go way right. Okay. Ooh. There's some draw. So, full disclosure, there's one small difference in this one compared to the rest of them. This is a five wood length shaft, which mm. is what I play in, in my three wood. So, if you noticed, you may not have, I was choking down pretty on good on, on those, or on that one. Uh, this one, I can grab it all the way to the end. Mm. So. So not be not be perfect, but you're you're manually adjusting it, kind of. Trying, yes, yeah. absolutely. I mean, I'm I'm much happier gripping it all the way off the butt end. Yeah, yeah. Which is it's comfortable. It's, it's comfortable. It's also ridiculous, but I can't seem to change. <laughs> Old dog, new tricks, not gonna happen. That sounded real good. Old dog and new technology. Now that's gonna happen. But. Yep. Ooh. Okay. Just a little off on that one. Oh, come on, turnover. Right, let's do one more. 
Oh, some extra speed on that one. Yep. Oh, and it didn't turn. Golly, I thought that was going to turn. <sighs> I like that shot, though. I mean, not maybe the direction of it, but I like the strike. Sure. Okay. Well, I think uh, I almost want to take this one out as an outlier just because it's over there. Yeah, I think that's fair. <laughs> it's the, and the rest aren't. It's definitely know? the anomaly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Paradigm AI Smoke Triple Diamond. A little bit more spin. We saw a couple of shots that actually went pretty high there. We got some spin on a couple of them. We had like one that. go 3666. This last one was 3195. Um, but that, that tendency to leave them out to the right is still there. I think yeah. it's kind of just a... a you know, a, a result of a, a maybe a more fade biased club too. Yeah, or you're blaming yourself. I think it's a, a lot of it is due to the club too. It's a low spin fairy wood. They're typically not going to turn it over. It's Tuesday. It is Tuesday. I don't know what I mean, that has that, to do that, with it, but yeah, it could be that could be the answer. It could no. just be Tuesday. This is golf. There's no rhyme or reason to any of this stuff. There's I not. normally turn the ball over. It's not turning over. So yeah. Yeah. Well. Uh, also, look how close the carry distances are on the two. Ooh, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of cool. Uh, just a little bit higher launch with the triple diamond. I yeah. like the height better with yeah. this. Yeah, you were um, able to get this one higher in the air. Yeah. Um, the STG now again, both of these clubs, STG especially, there's a lot of weight forward in yeah. that club head. Yeah. Um, so that's probably part of the, the reason it's flying a little. There lower. is here too. Um, yeah, that's true. Uh, okay. Dark yeah. speed. Dark speed. This is the titanium. Yeah. Dark speed titanium. So. This was the one that we couldn't get the 15 degree head on. Yeah. So this one is now 14 and a half. So I'm not particularly expecting, you know, super, super high trajectory. Here. Well, no, it's that <laughs> attitude. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I just love the look of this thing. So that's already adjusted upright, isn't it then with the loft? Actually, I can't get it. Yeah, we'll have that little tiny bit. I can't put it on a draw setting because I can only go up a degree mm. on the draw setting. That'll only get us to 14. And clearly, I need more trajectory. Though, I am going to make one change. Again, let's use some technology to get to, to make what we need to have happen happen. Weights in the back? I'm going to put the weight in the back. Yeah. Right now, it's in the heel, which I probably need today. But... Put the heavy weight. I would on the rather back. have. I'd rather have more height than. Yeah. Than fade cor fade correction. Fade correction can come within, come from within, <laughs> rather than within technology. <laughs> okay. Here. I'm telling you, it's like me. I said, hey, you got it's with that attitude, you know. You can or can't do something. <laughs> if you're not believing in yourself, how are you gonna do it on the video? Yeah, you know, Journey said, don't stop believing. I know that song. Whoa! <laughs> hey, all right. <laughs> Finally, a reference that he gets. I love it. Nice. <laughs> Good stuff, Drew. All right. Let's see if we can... I thought about get... starting to sing, but I don't know if the viewers want that. So. But you can. No, sure. oh. no but I'm going to save them. Okay. Oh, go ahead. Hit your golf shots. <laughs> That was in the heel. That's going to go right. It did. Yep. That one looks like it was hit a little more solid. Oh, yeah. It almost turned over. It was a good ball. That's better. Definitely not getting quite as much trajectory on this guy. Last one was pretty good. Last one was almost 100 feet. Was it? Okay. Guess where that one's going? I'm going to guess right. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not that bad, though. I mean, if you could get odds right now, you can make some money on me. <laughs> Just like right now, taking a, taking a little wager on yeah, getting it to mean, the right. What, 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 what kind of odds can I get on me hanging <laughs> this ball out to the right? Even though I'm not trying to. Ooh, that's that one's up. not going out to that's the right. That's squared her up. Yep. And you got some extra speed on that one. Wow, what a shot. I had to I had to work pretty hard on that one. See if I can duplicate that here. That might be the high. That's the, I think that's got to be the highest ball speed we've seen today. Now, granted, it's slightly, slightly lower loft. It is. But it's also hammered. And a little right. Okay. All right. It is what it is. 
We're having a we're having a right sided day. Yeah, today. that's that's totally fine. It's okay, it's totally fine. Uh, here's that first one that will uh, that was a heel ball. Yeah, we can take that one out. Okay, We've got our fair. set here. Yeah. Um, Dark Speed Titanium. What a showing from Dark Speed Titanium. Yeah. Granted, again, this is at playing at 14 and a half degrees. Slightly stronger. So slightly yeah. stronger, but uh, definitely more ball speed. Mm -hmm. um, and a little bit more spin too, actually. Interesting. So the carry was... Which is helpful yeah, considering is. that we Correct. had lower yes. lower loss. Yes, so you actually yeah. hit it at 95 on average feet in the, in the air for a peak height. More carry distance as a result. Um, Pretty darn good, and I just I really like the efficiency at one point. Yeah, efficiency was good. Yeah, yep. really s smacking that golf ball with the the dark speed titanium. It's it feels great too. I, I'm I'm very happy with what what this club does. Mm -hmm. I've got this one in my bag, so well mm. not this one. I got the 15 degree in my bag. Yeah. So yeah. It's, okay. It's good. Yeah, really good stuff. It's good dark it's, speed titanium. Last one we're gonna test today. Taylor made QI Tour. So. The QI10 Tour, yep. it's like its predecessor in that it has the 50 gram sliding weight. Yes. Where is that weight forward or is it neutral? I have it neutral. Neutral? Okay. Yep. Sorry, let me. Fingerprints? Get, get rid of the fingerprints here. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm expecting big things out of this guy. I've been doing a lot of fitting with this. Yeah? Yes. I know it's, this is one of your favorite clubs of the year. It's been putting up really really good numbers and very much like the very much like the Mizuno I put it down and it's just oh the, the shape, shape is yeah. just so good and I like I like the feel of this much better than last year's they've definitely refined the yeah. the responsiveness and the feel on the face um, I was all excited because of the you know you give me 50 grams to work with and I'm I'm pretty excited to be right. able to, to mess as with a it. fitter it's just natural to, yeah and yep. this just uh Okay. This one's markedly improved. Nice. Wow. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Cool. Nope. Nope. No major. No major complaints there. It's launching a little bit lower so far. So far, yes. Than the other three, but. Has some extra spin. Okay. Again, probably coming off a little low off the face. There's a good one. Really good one. Uh -huh. In terms of straight ball flight, this thing is doing pretty well right now. Yes. A little toward the heel. A little okay. pull. Okay. It's really a pretty good result for being towards the heel. Yeah, that's not terrible for sure. Ooh, a little heavy. Thought I heard the big ball first. Kind of, uh, kind of describes me. <laughs> Just a little heavy. Smoked. Smoked. Ooh, some extra spin on Kay. that one now. Give me one more. Yep. One more here. Oh God, that's so bad. You want to know one more? Yeah, one I more. do. I really do, because that's just terrible. He wants one more, one more. Well, one more, one more. Okay, it just keeps getting worse. That's fine. <laughs> Shut it down. <laughs> I hit about a foot behind that one. Yeah, I did see that. That was yeah, uh that one was that one was poor. I was trying to kill it too. Okay, we've got our five QI 10 tour swings. Um, really good efficiency here as well. You're able to swing this one a little bit faster, yeah. more ball speed, uh, actually the highest ball speed. Also, we noticed right away that the launch angle was a little bit yeah. lower, but also yeah. the added spin um, did help it kind of stay in the air a little bit. So um, one thing I wanted to do here is just check out the impact location, see if we got a heat map there. Okay, it's a little bit, I mean, they're all pretty much in the same spot. Paradigm was a little bit higher up, but otherwise three of the four are just Average slightly lower than percent. I find fairway woods a whole lot easier to hit off of actual grass than off the mats. And you're right. I think this, you're right about that. Yeah. This situation is tough for fairway woods. Yeah. Because it is so so tight. Yeah. Even in a place it's firm, you can't yeah. get the club. Yeah. Even you know, at a, on grass, you can get the ball, the club a little bit further underneath the ball. Yeah. Even in a place that's got 
got things you know really really tight there's still more there's this has a little bit of give to it but yeah it doesn't you can't plow through this where you can plow through the, the right. turf a little bit yeah. so um yeah don't read overly much into strike location with fairway woods and yeah no it, you know because but yeah. i i was just showing it's, it's yeah for three of the four, you're, the the heat map was very similar, just yeah, yeah. just under the equator and yeah. kind of in the center yep. on average. Um, so to see the spin on this was, was so much higher is, is interesting on the QI10 too. Yeah, that is interesting. Um, and uh, the launch was lower, so on average. But again, we we if I pull up the you know the Spurs and we got uh, pretty good. I mean, you're, you're yeah, I was much better yeah, squaring this squaring one, it up a little bit better. Right? Um, you had three balls kind of right down the middle. You had the one out left and then you one out right. Yeah. Um, versus all of them kind of hanging out right, you know, essentially. So yeah. squaring that one up a little bit better, more spin. Um, any other takeaways from either dispersion or numbers, Kevin? So looks to me like from a ball speed perspective, we had two that really separated a little bit. Yeah, QI10 yeah. ball tour speed deficiency the, for sure. And the dark, dark speed and QI10 tour. Um, which were also the two highest spinning. So that... Mm. probably plays positively into the whole let's create a trajectory that, yeah. that will will create right. a good landing angle yeah um none of the landing angles got over 40 so were we at titleist right now i'd be getting yelled at that we need to go into a 16 and a half degree fairway wood and oh, probably yeah. probably a shaft that kicks it up a little bit more yeah um but, but that's the uh, thing about but that's fitting is exactly is, is yeah you know, in a, if this were a true fitting, you yeah, we would fitting yourself be or, you know, 100%. I'm a fitter, make, I'm going to work yeah. on a shaft or work yep. on something. Yep. Use the adjustable hosel, things yep. like that. But, um, all right, now we get to wrap it up. We get to talk about performance. We get cool. to talk about all those, um, all those fun details at the end here. Get nice. your picks. Nice, nice. All right, Kevin. Okay. We're good testing there on the low spin fairy woods so far in 2024. Um, let's start with performance. We've got... The numbers back there for you mm -hmm. to look at. Um, we just chatted about them as well. If there is a winner in performance, I think we have, at least in ball speed, we have a couple of favorites. Um, yeah. What are you going to go with here? Um, I mean, it's, it's it's really very much a tie when you consider mm -hmm. the the efficiency. Yeah. Four eight on on both the QI ten tour and yep. the, the dark speed titanium. Um, I swung the QI tour a little bit faster. Yeah. Which honestly could just be the fact that I. Had the release a little yeah, bit better, could be. right? Yeah. I mean, that influences ball speed. Right. So they're both really good. I don't think you can go wrong with with. I don't think you can go wrong with any of these. Mm -hmm. Honestly, yeah. they're they're all really really good. Yeah, they, they do all, their job, right? I mean, they're, they do, and they all spin fairy woods. Good spin rates on all of them. They all look good. They all feel good. They're very responsive. You know, they're not the most forgiving fairway woods on the market because they are. Yeah, correct. Weight forward. Yep. So you know, there's there's that aspect of things, but. For the person that's looking for good ball speed, something that's going to go a long way, um, you know, any one of these could yeah. be really good. I, I mean, I, for I like, this test, we call it a tie between QI10 Tour and Dark Speed Titanium. I mean, technically, Dark Speed wins this by about four yards. Yeah, know, yeah in, if you want to throw in, carry, in carry carry yard as the tiebreaker, we can yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's do let's okay. do that. The tiebreaker um, goes to Dark Speed Titanium for performance. Yeah. Because of the carry distance there, a little bit more. Uh, how about innovation now? This is kind of a, we love that category. Yeah. It's kind of tough to define a little bit. Yeah. So it's sort of just what each manufacturer has done to drive it's, these things forward. It's a tough one here too, because if you look at, at the changes, obviously Callaway, we've talked about Callaway being so, yep. you know, forward thinking with the AI and jumping into yep. that and, In the smart and just and keep pushing forward with it. But if you look at, you know, Mizuno hasn't had something like this Correct, in yeah. the past, and that's really fantastic. Cobra hasn't had a titanium, a titanium version in the yeah. past, so that's fantastic. What TaylorMade has done with with the, the QI-10 Tour to give it, you know, better playability, better feel yeah. is fantastic. I, I mean, yeah. I'm on a I'm on a flat line across. You're on a flat line with all of them. They, no they no are. no distinct winner in the innovation category. I don't think so. Okay. I mean, we, and that's fine. I mean, yeah. they're, if they're, they're like you mentioned. There's unique aspects to each of them that have yeah. kind of brought them forward. Yeah. And, and Callaway just keeps them pushing over the, the pushing previous. forward, right? Yeah. But these two things didn't even exist. Right. So right. like in terms of innovation, when you've got something that didn't exist, and, and oh here, here's something yeah. new, that's a lot of innovation. Right. Right. Yeah. So that's yeah. that's true. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. Lastly, 
the category that I think you probably pay the most attention to in the look, sound, feel uh, department for each of them. So uh, I know you've we talked about it before you hit each each club. You like the shape and, and the look on yep. some of them, especially. Yep. So um, if you had to pick one winner in that category, what do you got? Golly, I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm breaking it down. Yeah. Okay. Finish goes to the dark speed. Okay. I just love the dark matte finish. Yeah. Uh, shape goes to tie between Mizuno and the QI10. Yeah. Uh, they're just, they're just. It's one thing you did mention right away with both of them. Perfect shaping. Yep. Like just perfect shaping. Not the dark speed's bad, but just there's something about the shape on those two mm -hmm. that's really great. And then feel. No, you made some good comments I'll, about the QI10. Yeah. I'm probably gonna go dark speed. Mm -hmm. uh, I maybe because I've I've hit it more because I actually yeah. play it, but I really like the feel and the response okay. that's coming off that face. It's it's really really good. Yeah, sounds yeah. like uh, dark speed is the look feel sound winner as well. Um, so good good testing. All I mean the fact that you're kind of wrestling with these picks so much is an indication of how yeah. competitive yeah. it really was. It's, both testing, both in you know how these manufacturers have really yeah. uh, kind of made that dive head first into making sure that these are really good products for these players. So you're asking uh, a really hard question. I know I am. And, and you know, uh, <laughs> I know you didn't study for these, this quiz. So, um, this we, is, this is a pop quiz. It, it's, it won't it's, go it's on very, your final grade. It's a very difficult pop. Yeah, quiz. It won't go on your final grade. Cause it's all good stuff. Yeah. So it you is. just got to come in. You got to try these. You got to see what they do for you, how they look, feel, sound for you, what kind of numbers they give you. And then let me tune them so that we get exactly what we need. I have nothing else to add. Thank you, Kevin, for the hitting, the testing, um, and all your insight. Great stuff here. Cool.